Hey, Karen, would you keep an eye on Casey for a minute? I want to run upstairs and get her my G.I. Joes, their gardening tools, and their bed and breakfast. Of course I will. She's so cute, I could just eat her up. Mm. Yeah. You won't, though, right? Hello, little girl. Oh, what's that? It's a diamond ring. Hmm. Not a very good one. It's occluded. The cut is pedestrian and... It's watermelon. <laughs> Here, see what a real diamond looks like. Uh -huh. It's from my husband. <laughs> and believe me, you're getting it a lot easier than I did. <laughs> Tunis. You coming? <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna be late for my lesson. Suit yourself. But you'll learn a lot more over martinis at the palm. <laughs> but he faded. Yeah? Well, the bloom's off your rose, too, honey. Mason, honey, I'm coming. Mommy's coming. It's just gonna take me a minute. I got my $700 custom made shoes on. Don't you think it's a little inappropriate to be holding a cup full of liquor at your child's swim meet? Well, honey, when you're right, you're right. It's not full anymore, is it, honey? <laughs> Thing and you did great. Um, listen, I'm, uh, I'm not very good at this kind of thing. Sit down, sit down. But I am so very proud of you. I probably don't tell you often enough, but I do care about you. As a matter of fact, you're the best little boy any mom could have. And if you think that I don't like you, you're wrong. I love you. Come on, give me a little hug. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Yeah? I don't want those stupid sneakers anyway. Honey, what happened to you? This online auction thing got pretty ugly. <laughs> What's going on? Well, you didn't think I'd miss a chance to give my little tadpole the love and encouragement he deserves. Hell no. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Who's that? <laughs> Jeez. No, it's not. That's Mason. What? Well, how the hell am I supposed to know what they look like wet? This was silk. Mason, talk to that kid. He's got some lovely words for you. Okay. Good night. Why is your friend at the lady doctor? Why does anyone go to any doctor? Fear and pills. Do you mind your own business? Do you know how I can find a doctor like that? Ask your mother. I live with my dad and brothers. Hey, boo -hoo. I didn't ask your life story. <laughs> You're mean. You have no idea. <laughs> Why do you need to go to the doctor anyway? Mind your own business. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Seriously, you can tell me. I got a working relationship with every doctor on Park Avenue. Come on, what's going on? What's the deal? Oh, fine. You gonna be like that? All right. If you're not gonna tell me what's wrong with you, then we are done. There is nothing left to say. 
period. <laughs> hey, Care, what you doing in the playroom? Oh, hi, honey. Since Stan's and the Clink and the stepkids are spending most of their time with first wife, I uh, decided to turn it into something useful. You know, like a laboratory or uh, an Indian casino. <laughs> oh, wow, you got an Xbox. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Just because my husband's in prison does not mean you could talk dirty to me. <laughs> What is he doing here anyway? He is here because I cannot tolerate two of the most important people in my life not getting along. Now, I will not have my family go the way of other showbiz families. <laughs> so the three of us are gonna stay in this room until you two can find the love for each other. And nobody but nobody is leaving until we get this done. Oh my God, my corpse audition just got moved up. I gotta run. <laughs> Listen, you two, work it out. Remember, <laughs> find the love. Olivia doing here anyway. Well, her ugly mother and fat brother are in the hospital. <laughs> They're sucking out part of his stomach and putting it into her flat fanny. <laughs> ah, the circle of life. <laughs> anyway, Olivia needs a place to stay for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, you can tell her to forget it. I'm not running a freaking YMC. Hey, look at you! <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Jack. Hi. I hope it's okay that I'm staying. It won't be that long. I would have stayed with my stepfather, but he's gonna be busy operating on my mom and brother. <laughs> Honey, you can stay for as long as you want. Ah, oh, Curly. Seems like just yesterday I was holding you in my arms and then frantically passing you off to a nanny. <laughs> Great to see you, Rosie Taker. <laughs> So nice. Now I'm stuck with her. <sighs> well, there go my Christmas plans of sitting in a dark room and drinking. And there go my Christmas plans of turning you so you don't choke on your own vomit. I don't know where you get your jewelry, but <laughs> this necklace is delicious. <laughs> All right, we good? Everything go okay? Yeah. You do everything I told you to do? Yeah. Good stuff. Have a nice life. <laughs> <sighs> Honey, you have somebody you can talk to about these things, right? Like a husband or a lover? <laughs> what? No. <sighs> Why does it always have to be me? <laughs> Honey, I know what just happened was a big deal. It isn't fun, but this day never is. For me, it was the summer of fifth, sixth, 79. <laughs> I was sitting on my front porch, listening to my transist, my walk, my iPod shuffle. <laughs> and then it happened. Well, I just wanted to run into my room and hide, but my mom's idiot boyfriend screamed to the whole neighborhood, hey, Lois's kid just became a woman. And then my mom celebrated by opening her bottle of good scotch and giving everybody in the neighborhood a drink. Everyone except the anxious 12-year-old who needed it the most. <laughs> Look, Tasha, the point is, I survived, and so will you. You're not really mean, are you? Dare you. <laughs> Get over here. Mind your own business. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to talk about what bugs us about each other. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Kind of pushy for a five-year-old, aren't you? I'm 12. Huh. So you lie about your age so that you can drink, or...? This is what it is about you. You're weird. You're a weird woman. And you kind of look like the demon who guards the tomb in Tomb Raider. Don't even try and flatter me, kid. Okay, look. I'm not happy about this either, but Jack asked us to do it. 
and he's important to both of us, so I think we should at least try. Okay, oh, this is what really bugs me about you. The way you talk. You're honest, you've got no agenda, you're not manipulative, it's like you're talking in code. <laughs> okay, well, how do you want me to talk? Oh, honey, I don't care, just quit being such a goody two-shoes. I am not a goody two-shoes. Oh, yeah? Don't drink, don't smoke, what do you do? <laughs> I am bad. I'm bad news. Come on, two shoes. You've never done a bad thing in your whole life. Oh, yeah? Watch this. Pick that up. Sorry. Two shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, how about this? Sometimes, when my mom's not home, I make phony phone calls. They're rude and they inconvenience people. What kind of phony phone calls? Well, once I called the butcher and asked if he had pig's feet. He said, yeah, and I said, must be hard to find shoes. <laughs> then I hung up. You call that a phony boy? Have you got a lot to learn? Watch this, midget. <laughs> Hello. Nurse Big Rack from Dr. La -ba -da -da -ba -boop -boop's office. <laughs> Got good news for you. It's time to start your physical therapy. What? Why are you calling me so late? Well, that kind of attitude, we're not going to get anywhere. Now, let's start with some neck rolls. Neck rolls? The doctor said I should rest it. Yeah, well, he changed his mind. Start rolling. <laughs> Ah, oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, especially when I do it to the right. Oh, dear, I couldn't hear what you just said, but it's better if you do them all to the right. <laughs> Owie. 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 Hop a dog, beep a dog. <laughs> Karen, what are you doing here? Hey, I come here all the time. What? You don't shop at malls? Yeah, sure I do. I get all my jewelry at Zales. <laughs> of course, I buy all my clothes at the Limited. <laughs> and of course, I always get my educational puzzles at Imaginarium. <laughs> Here, here, um, why don't you join us? You don't have to. No, sure. I want to get chilly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's roll, Paddywhack. <laughs> Yo, crackers, I'd love to. <laughs> so, what are we doing? What do all teenage girls do, which is remarkably similar to what gay men do. <laughs> Talk about boys, obsess about our bodies, and make fun of people. <laughs> <laughs> Karen. Hey, I'm getting kind of thirsty. I'm gonna go get us all some beers. Oh, what am I talking about? Some light beers. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just hanging out with my stepdaughter. You're embarrassing me. And that's hard to do. I was dropped off at school by a 700-pound man. <laughs> I gotta go. My friends are waiting. Fine. In Reddit. Besides, I'm gonna go pick up some lithographs at Sea Gallery. <laughs> Don't mind me, boys. I forgot the Birkin. <laughs> Close your mouth, kid. You're gonna catch a fly. <laughs> Jessie Tyler Ferguson, she is fabulous. No, Marlo, why would I be kidding about that? Phil is my father. And I wouldn't be calling except that he stopped making his child support payments. And my mom can't raise me on just a stripper salary. <laughs> you can't laugh because when you laugh, I laugh. I'm sorry, honey. It's just that there's nothing I enjoy more than yanking Phil Donahue's chain. <laughs> Marlo. <laughs> uh, I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Oh, 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 come on. Now, how do we ask for something to eat? 
Uh, where's the damn food? There's my boy. <laughs> okay, go across the hall to Mason's bedroom. Yeah, there's a cake carousel next to the pinball machine. You know what? You're not so bad. Yeah. Well, you're not so good. Now scream. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Rosie, how you holding up? Oh, the doctor wants me to do head rolls. <laughs> Neck rolls. What? <laughs> Hi. Where's Elliot? Oh, he went to get a snack. So, how was your audition for Six Feet Under? <gasps> Terrible. <gasps> Why? What happened? You didn't get the part? No. The casting assistant was gorgeous. And as convincing as my performance was for male corpse on slab, there was one part of me that refused to play dead. I see. So you would have only been five and a half feet under. Do not underestimate me. <laughs> hey, Jack. How'd the audition go? I think I got it. Um, so, let's pick up where we left off, okay? Now, my life is gonna be spent in front of cameras. And I need my personal assistant and my manager to get along. It's okay, Jack. We're fine. Really? She give you money? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Whatever she gave you, splitting it with me in the cab. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. I promised your mommy to be home. Come on, scoot it. Hey, do you, uh, think I could come back sometime and play with your Xbox? Anytime, kid. Bye. Oh, oh, would you look at that? This game is called an Xbox. Karen, why are you making Olivia leave? Well, she doesn't want to be around me. I don't want to be around her. I don't. Yeah, well, then get rid of it. Don't let the door or the gate or the other door or the security laser hit you on the way out. This is crazy, Olivia. Karen cares about you. She always has. No, she no, I don't. <laughs> She'd never tell you this herself, but she's always done a lot of nice things for you. No, she no, didn't. <laughs> when you were a little girl, your favorite show was Step by Step. Did you know that Karen paid for that show to stay in production two extra seasons just so you could watch it? <laughs> she did? Yes! Now, damn it, you two care about each other, but you're too stubborn to admit it. Now, I'm gonna lock myself out on that bitterly cold terrace for as long as it takes for you guys to work it out in this warm, comfortable, cozy room. <laughs> Got it? Well, I better go. Olivia. Yeah. I'm sorry that I've wasn't a very good stepmother. You're all right. Like, remember that time when we glued the cookie to the floor and watched Mason get splinters trying to pick it up? <laughs> <laughs> and then Stanley showed him how to pry up the floorboards and eat them both together. <laughs> I miss Dad. I miss him too, honey. You have his eyes, you know. Except. Yours aren't on the sides of your head. <laughs> Listen, come on, why don't you stay? We can do something fun, like roast chestnuts and then throw them at Rosario. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> okay, you guys worked it out? Yeah, it's really chilly out here. Trick or treat. 